Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. Beam MP on Cracked Beam NG, Troubleshooting Error Code for and Beyond, Comprehensive Guide. Let's face it, getting Beam MP to work with a Cracked Beam NG drive can be a tricky proposition. Error Code 4, and other errors, are common stumbling blocks. This guide aims to walk you through the potential causes of error code 4, common misconceptions, and solutions to help you get Beam MP running, emphasizing safety and responsible usage while acknowledging the realities of using crack software. Disclaimer asterisk This guide discusses methods that may involve using unauthorized copies of Beam NG drive. I strongly recommend purchasing a legitimate copy of the game to support the developers and ensure a stable and legal gaming experience. Using crack software can expose your system to malware and is generally unethical. This information is provided for educational purposes and troubleshooting only, and I am not responsible for any consequences arising from your actions. Why does error code 4 happen with cracked beam NG and beam MP? Error code 4, in the context of Beam MP and Cracked Beam NG, typically points to a version mismatch or integrity issues with either your Beam NG installation or the Beam MP client. Here's a more detailed breakdown. Asterisk version mismatch asterisk Beam MP requires a specific version of Beam NG drive to function correctly. If your cracked version is outdated or incompatible with the current Beam MP client, you'll encounter this error. This is the most common cause. Asterisk integrity check failure asterisk beam MP performs checks to ensure the integrity of the beam NG dot drive files. Cracked versions may have modified or missing files that fail these checks, triggering error code 4. This is more prevalent with older or poorly cracked versions. Asterisk firewall slash antivirus interference asterisk even with a legit copy, firewalls, or antivirus software can sometimes block Beam's access to Beam NG dot drive files or network connections, leading to error codes. This is less likely but still a possibility. Asterisk missing or corrupted Beam MP files asterisk although rare, if your Beam MP installation itself is corrupted or missing critical files, it can misreport the error as stemming from Beam NG. Asterisk dependency issues Asterisk Beam MP relies on certain system libraries, like .NET Framework, Visual C++ redistributables. If these are outdated or missing, it can indirectly cause errors that might manifest as a connection problem with Beam NG. Understanding the risks and limitations. Before diving into solutions, it's crucial to understand the limitations and risks associated with running Beam MP on a cracked Beam NG installation. Asterisk instability Asterisk cracked versions are often modified, leading to potential crashes, bugs, and instability that can hinder Beam's functionality. Asterisk malware Asterisk downloading cracked software from untrusted sources can expose your system to malware, viruses, and other security threats. Always scan downloaded files with a reputable antivirus program before executing them. Asterisk no official support Asterisk the official Beam MP developers cannot provide support for issues arising from using cracked versions. You're essentially on your own. Asterisk constant updates Asterisk Beam NG drive is frequently updated, which can break compatibility with cracked versions and Beam MP. You'll likely need to find updated cracked versions periodically. Asterisk ethical considerations Asterisk using cracked software is unethical and deprives developers of their due compensation. Troubleshooting steps and solutions, ordered by likelihood. 1. Verify Beam NG drive version compatibility Asterisk 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 determining your Beam NG version, cracked version the easiest way is to launch the game and look for the version number displayed on the main menu or splash screen it's usually in the bottom right or corner if the title screen is missing this information 
check within the game files themselves. 1. Navigate to your beamng.drive installation directory This is where you extracted or installed the game. 2. Look for a file named beamng.drive.exe or a similar executable. 3. Right click on the executable and select properties. 4. Go to the details tab. 5. Look for the file version or product version information This will give you the version number. Asterisk finding compatible Beam MP versions Asterisk you'll need to do some searching online. Forums dedicated to cracked games, use caution, or Beam MP communities, unofficial ones dealing with cracked versions, might have information about which Beam MP versions are compatible with which Beam NG versions. Be wary of links and files you download from these sources, always scan them. Asterisk downgrading Beam MP, if necessary if you find that a specific Beam MP version is known to work with your Beam NG version, you'll need to find and install that older Beam MP version. This involves finding the old installer file, usually a .exe or .zip file, and running it. Example, illustrative, actual versions change. Let's say your cracked Beam NG is version 0.27.x and you find that Beam MP version 1.2.7.0 is known to be compatible. You would need to find a download link for Beam MP 1.2.7.0 and install it. 2. Ensure proper Beam MP installation and configuration asterisk asterisk. Asterisk reinstall Beam MP Asterisk Sometimes a clean installation resolves issues. Uninstall Beam MP completely, through Windows add or remove programs, and then reinstall it, making sure to download the installer from a reliable source, even if unofficial. Asterisk run Beam MP as administrator Asterisk right click the Beam MP launcher and select run as administrator. This can help bypass permission issues that might be preventing it from accessing BeamNG files. Asterisk verify BeamNG path in BeamMP settings Asterisk in the BeamMP launcher, go to the settings, usually a gear icon. Make sure the path to your BeamNG.drive installation directory is correctly specified. If it's incorrect, update it. This is a common oversight. Asterisk check launcher underscore settings dot json asterisk locate the launcher underscore settings dot json file in your beam mp installation directory. Open it with a text editor, like notepad. Look for the beam underscore path key. Ensure the path is correct and uses double backslashes, backslash backslash, as separators. Example. 3. Firewall slash antivirus exception asterisk 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 add beam mp to exceptions asterisk configure your firewall and antivirus software to allow beam mp both the launcher and the client to access the internet and interact with beam ng dot drive files the specific steps depend on your firewall slash antivirus but generally you need to add BeamMP as a trusted program or create rules that allow its network traffic. Asterisk temporarily disable firewall slash antivirus, for testing only as a troubleshooting step, temporarily disable your firewall and antivirus software. Then, try launching BeamMP. If it works, you know the issue is related to firewall slash antivirus interference. Re-enable your firewall slash antivirus immediately after testing. 4. File integrity checks and cracked fixes, use with extreme caution. Asterisk reapply the crack slash patch asterisk sometimes, the cracking process can be incomplete or corrupted. Try reapplying the crack or patch that you use to activate the cracked beam ng dot drive. Asterisk this carries significant risk of malware. Only do this if you're confident in the source of the crack asterisk. Asterisk verify game files, similar to Steam some cracked versions come with tools or instructions to verify the integrity of the game files. 
Look for any verify or repair options in the game's installation directory or associated tools. This is a rare feature, but it's worth checking. Asterisk No Origin fixes Asterisk for some games, No Origin or Offline Mode fixes are created to bypass online authentication. Search for such fixes specific to your BeamNG.Drive version. Again, exercise extreme caution when downloading and using these fixes. 5. Dependencies, less common but important. Asterisk.NET Framework Asterisk BeamMP and BeamNG relies on the .NET Framework. Download and install the latest version of the .NET Framework from the official Microsoft website, https .net.microsoft.com slash enus slash download, https colon slash slash .net.microsoft.com slash n hyphen a slash download. Asterisk Visual C++ Redistributables Asterisk Beam MP also needs the Visual C++ Redistributables. Try installing both the x86 and x64 versions from Microsoft, https slash slash learn.microsoft.com slash enus slash cpp slash windows slash latest supported vc readist, view equals msvc170, https colon slash slash learn.microsoft.com slash n hyphen us slash cpp slash windows slash latest hyphen supported hyphen vc hyphen readies t question mark view equals sign msvc hyphen 170. 6. Advanced Troubleshooting, If Nothing Else Works Asterisk Check Beam MP Logs Asterisk Beam MP Logs Its Activity to Files Locate the log files, usually in the Beam MP installation directory, and examine them for specific error messages or clues about what's going wrong. Asterisk Monitor Network Traffic Asterisk Use a network monitoring tool, like Wireshark to observe the network traffic between BeamMP and BeamNG.Drive. This can help identify if there are connection problems or if data is being blocked. Asterisk Clean Registry Asterisk Use a registry cleaner, like CCleaner, to remove orphaned or corrupt registry entries related to BeamNG.Drive or BeamMP. Be careful when using registry cleaners, as incorrect usage can damage your system. Asterisk fresh windows installation, last resort as a last resort, if you've exhausted all other options and suspect that your windows installation is corrupted or has conflicting software, consider performing a clean installation of windows. Code example, illustrative, directly modifying game files is highly discouraged. I cannot provide code examples that directly modify beamng.drive files. Doing so could violate the game's terms of service, introduce instability, and potentially expose your system to security risks. Furthermore, manipulating game files in a cracked version is even more fraught with peril. However, I can provide a hypothetical example of how you might check for file integrity, for educational purposes only, do not use this directly. Explanation of the hypothetical code asterisk 1 calculate underscore md5 file path asterisk this function takes a file path as input and calculates the md5 hash of the file's contents md5 is a cryptographic hash function that produces a unique fingerprint of a file if the file is changed the md5 hash will also change 2 check underscore file underscore integrity file path expected underscore md5 asterisk this function compares the calculated md5 hash of a file to an expected md5 hash if they match it means the file hasn't been tampered with if they don't match it indicates that the file has been modified or corrupted three example usage asterisk the code shows how you might use these functions to check the integrity of the beamng.drive.exe file Asterisk crucially, you would need to obtain the correct expected underscore md5 value. I cannot provide this for cracked versions, asterisk.
important considerations regarding the hypothetical code asterisk asterisk finding the expected md5 hash asterisk this is the biggest challenge for legitimate software the developer might provide checksums like md5 to verify the integrity of downloaded files however cracked versions usually don't have this you would need to find a reliable source of information about the expected md5 hash for your specific cracked beam ng version this is highly risky asterisk md5 is not foolproof asterisk while md5 is a good starting point it's not cryptographically secure against malicious attacks more sophisticated integrity checks might use SHA-256 or other stronger hash functions. Asterisk running executable code asterisk the code is written in Python. You would need to have Python installed on your system to run it. Remember, downloading and running executable code from untrusted sources can be extremely dangerous. Only use this code with files that you trust and understand. In summary, Getting Beam MP to work with a cracked Beam NG requires careful troubleshooting, understanding the risks, and potentially making compromises. The most reliable and ethical solution is always to purchase a legitimate copy of Beam NG. Drive. This comprehensive guide provides a starting point for troubleshooting error code 4. I hope it helps you navigate the complexities of running Beam MP on a cracked Beam NG installation. Please remember to exercise caution, prioritize your system security, and consider the ethical implications of your actions. Good luck!